Rob, the president told reporters in the Oval Office that the construction of both lines will be subject to the terms and conditions being negotiated by the U.S. And with those terms up in the air, opponents say they have several years to keep fighting. And if they'd like, we'll see if we can get that pipeline built. Pairing pipelines and politics, President Trump signs executive actions Tuesday to advance construction of the Keystone XL and Dakota Access oil pipelines. I'm worried like I've never been worried before um, because of the heavy handedness going on here. Graham Christensen is an environmental consultant and a director with Nebraska's Farmers Union. He says farmers have time to fight TransCanada, the company behind the Keystone XL project. They have to get a permit through the Public Service Commission. Um, that's going to be a, a year-long process. There's still currently pending landowner lawsuits with TransCanada trying to recover money that, that these folks have, have lost um, as they were trying to protect their land. And when it comes to eminent domain, which gives the government the right to seize private lands for public use, Nebraska's governor says he doesn't see any issues. That's part of what we do to create all the infrastructure here in our state. We've done that for roads, we've done that for other things. So uh, again, there's a process that it goes through and that's perfectly appropriate. But opposing leaders like Jane Klebb of Bold Alliance are ready to go to court, working with others across the country. It's a very dangerous prospect that Donald Trump is playing with right now. In a conference call, she says TransCanada cannot use that power since the pipeline is for profit. Once they try to use eminent domain come September 2017, we will then file a lawsuit which was already going through the courts when President Obama rejected the pipeline. Club anticipates at least several years of legal battles before anything is resolved. In the meantime, opponents say they must continue educating landowners about their rights. All we can do is stay positive, lead by example, but we have to be more active. And in a statement, TransCanada says it appreciates the president's invitation to reapply for the pipeline, and it's currently preparing the application to move forward. Back to you.